Welcome back, people. This is the second episode in my tutorial season. If you watched last time, which I hope you do, I built this little hidey hole a little way from away from my spawn, which was over there, if you could see through the door, kind of by the water. And I showed you how to make torches, the furnace, crafting table, change wood into planks, and a bunch of tools. So today we are going to go outside, and we are going to collect some more wood, and I'm going to teach you a bit more about the wo world. Okay, so we're outside. Yep, sorry, thought I heard something, that's just, that's just the sheep. Oh, that over there is a spider. I'm going to show you a bit about, oh, this is going to hurt, spiders. Ah, oh god, that's a skeleton. I'm going to go kill him for you. Ah, ah, see, he's in the sunlight, now he's burning. Haha, ah, you missed me. Bad. Okay, so, oh, let's see what he dropped. He dropped two arrows. That is of no use of, for us right now, but I can't get everything. But over here, there should be a spider. Yeah, he's not going to attack me because it's morning right now. He only attacks at night. But if I attack him, he will attack back. Whoa, just watch. Whack, whack. See, now he's chasing me. Ah, ow. See, he bites you. Okay, I think that's the last that I'm around here. I just hope so, because I don't want to get attacked again. I don't like being shot at a bit. So, right over there is my hidey hole. You can see it. I should make it a little more noticeable. But today we're going to collect wood and cobblestone and some other stuff. So, here we go. We're collecting some wood. Um, another creature that is like, I think the rarest to spawn, but it will spawn at night, is called an Enderman. They're these three block high, three blocks, so, one, two, three, they're that tall, but if you're hiding under two blocks, they can't attack you, so, it's okay. They're solid black figures that, um, will just randomly take blocks and do who knows what with it. Uh, they sometimes draw a really rare item called an Ender Pearl, which I might and might not get to in this season. It's only going to be seven episodes, so yeah. This episode, I think, is just going to be re called Resource Gathering, probably. Yeah, I'm going to show you the best tools for certain objects and stuff. Yeah, okay, so time to go back over to our area. We saw the coal. You remember day one, that's where I went before I started talking about the sun. I told you about certain tool things. Actually, it's pretty dark over there. Hmm. I, I don't know, do I want to risk it getting shot again? Because I don't like it. Oh, remember, I told you about damage here. I'm probably going to receive damage. Nope, I only fell a few blocks. So I'm okay. Oh, I'm gonna put my sword in my hand. Oh, also another thing, pick mines through stone really fast compared to your hand which won't even get the stone. See, it's brighter in here now that I put the torch, but I'm gonna gather the rest of this coal. S takes longer than stone to mine coal, but faster than a wooden pick. No complaints there. So now we got all the coal. Now let's go on a little scavenger. Oh no, not the dark hole again. This is gravel. This is what gravel looks like. It's going to be changed in the next update, but I don't know when that's coming out. So the best tool on it is a shovel. See how quickly that would do if you use a pickaxe. It takes longer than a sword. A little faster than the pick and an axe. I think it's the slowest. I don't know, but I, I'm just going to grab a bit. I don't know why. I might use it. Oh. Sometimes gravel, when you might it will drop that black thing. It's called flint. You use it in making arrows. Yeah, arrows are what the skelly dropped in. That's when he shoots at me with his bow. So, yeah. I think we're gonna walk back near our hidey hole because I don't like being so far away from home. Oh, I, I think I should talk a bit about spawning now. Say if I croaked out here, I hope you know what that means. 
if you don't, then um, ask your older brother or something, I don't know. Well, if I croaked out here, then all my, I would drop all this stuff right on the ground. It'd, like, spread out a bit, and, yeah, all my stuff would be over there on the ground like that. S and I would spawn right next to my bed, but if I haven't slept in a bed, I'd spawn really originally spawned, which is somewhere over there. So, today, I think I'm going to go on top of that hill and check out my surroundings after I've said a few things, which I have, so, yep. Oh, you could, like, destroy leaves with anything. So, yep. Here we go. We're going up the hill. Let's see. I think we're going to make a house on top of this hill and connect our hiding hole to the house. I did that in before my first world. I wasn't originally trying that. Oh, that's cool. That's a little river. Oh, I should talk about sugar canes, shouldn't I? Okay, I'm, I'm going to go. Okay. I'm going to keep my sword in my hand just in case. Ow. Oh, gosh, I'm hungry. I have no food to eat. Okay, I'm going to talk about food then. Oh, this is a really multitasking episode. Okay, so... I'm going to... Just grab that. Okay. Oh, what I'm doing is I'm holding the space bar, which will make me swim. Oh, uh, when you whack grass, you most of the time won't get anything. But if there's a chance that it'll drop seeds, and seeds could be used in farming, so I'm going to whack a few until I get some seeds. I'll go back over on my side of the hill. Where there's more grass. Oh, these are dandelions. They're just called flowers, but when you whack them, you get a flower, a little floating flower. Yep. Nope, no seeds. No seeds, no seeds. Why does I usually have luck with this. Oh, there were seeds. You saw that pop out? That's seeds. Gotta see how many I could get out of these little clumps of grass. Oh, I'm very lucky. Nope. Nope. Uh, after this one, I'm done. Nope. Okay, only two. That's okay. Oh, what do we have here? That's weird. I have a little hot tub in my basement. Oh, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to turn that into a hot tub. So, let's see what time it is. Oh, it's almost night time. Oh, there's another dark hole. Well, at least there's plenty of adventure. Oh, sheep, what do you want? Some, do you want to be slaughtered? Because, nah, all you drop is wool. I don't need wool right now. I could talk about pictures. Or paintings. I'm slaughter you. No, get back here, sheep. I want to slaughter you. Yeah. Uh, did I strike you then? I thought it only took two hits with a wood sword. Oh, I there we go. Okay, I got another piece of wool. Oh, maybe I should talk about experience. Hey, make, my, make your mind up, Casey. Okay, see that little... Okay, so see that little number right there? That's the only reason I hit the escape button. That little green number at the bottom of the screen. That's my experience level. If you're like, oh, you level up to level two, you're stronger. No, that's not what experience does. Doesn't song me as but not in Minecraft. I think I'm just gonna stay home for now. Experience can be used in enchanting, which we may or may not get to. It requires diamonds, which are the hardest thing to get till the update. No, I'm gonna stop talking about that. And I'm one se one second. Okay, so here we go. Um hmm. I think I'm gonna revamp my tools, get some new tools, so what do I need? I need an axe and a shovel, so I'm gonna... A cool thing you could do is, like, make the shape of two tools together, then when you get the axe, then you could get the shovel. It's pretty cool, right? No? Yeah, I didn't think so either. Oh, also, you see how that there's a little green line underneath the sword? The sword in my hand? Not, not in my hand, the thing that I'm whacking. On the bottom, next to my heart and my hunger, which I sh should go find something to eat. Um, well, that is, oh, it's almost night time, let me just go kill a pig. Come on, Mr. Little Minecraft Gods. Oh, if I croak on night too, I'm so, <sighs> I don't know. I thought I saw pigs over here, didn't I? I saw pigs. Hey, pigs. What is that? Is that a cacti? Oh, I live next to a desert. Okay, never mind. I'm, oh, well, there's two pigs, I, I'll kill them both. There, pig, stupid, skinny pig. Oh no, it's almost night time. Three pork chops. No, two pork chops. Oh, gotta get home. 
glad to get home. Oh, I'm such an idiot. I should have just waited out the night. Uh, monsters will spawn in, like so much in the desert, which is right next to me. Or at least you see them spawn a lot. Because they'll spawn sometimes just randomly under trees during night time, too. Just get, oh, home is right over there. Let's get home. I'm telling you, I'm going to get shot and die on night two. And every, all the veterans are going to be like, ah, new got killed on night two. I'm not, well, I kind of am a new, but, okay, whatever. Oh, close the door. Don't use the door open. Okay, now that I have food, I can show you how to cook. So when you open up this furnace, you'll see this and this, and this you don't have to worry about until later. Okay, so you put that thing you want to cook in the top slot. So I want some cooked pork chops. So, and you put the thing you want to use in the bottom. You could cook like wood and sticks and just plain wood. You can use planks and stuff. And I think you might be able to click seeds. Um, so, but I'm gonna burn some wood. No, I'm gonna, coal is the best thing. It cooks eight things, but I only have two, but I'm still gonna use the coal. It disappeared right away because it's like gone. See that fire? That's how long you have. Here comes a cooked pork chop. And dip pork chop. Yep, I can just eat a normal pork chop; it'll keep my hunger bar up. But a cooked pork chop heals heals more and heals you for longer. So I'm just gonna eat this. Mmm. See how many little. Oh no! It's all it's nighttime. I'm gonna go into my corner. I'm gonna eat this. Boom! Full hearts. Um. I'm gonna go to sleep and end this episode in the morning, so... Okay, the nasties are outside and they're pounding on my door. So, I think I'm gonna make a house the next episode. That's, that's all for today, folks. That's all for today. Goodbye.